lot. Small. About 20 metres of wire. That's going to be an absolute game changer for me. Not have to rely on Telstra's pathetic coverage outside of the main cities. Hi everyone. Hey everyone. Well, we're here um, on the sunny coast and we're on a friend's property. Yep. I'm not too sure how long we're going to be here for. We're still waiting here to get some of the warranty work done on our van, but we thought we'd show you something pretty exciting. We are. I'm yeah. not going to do too much of the talking. I'm really just going to video Tim because this is again his area and uh, I just get to point the camera in his direction. Yeah, well, look, if you've travelled Australia outside of the major cities, you'll probably be aware that the internet is pretty terrible. It's probably really third world country, isn't it? That's putting it it's nice. It's really, really bad. We I could mean, use other words, but we probably yeah. shouldn't. And I think as a consequence, it's also not all that safe either. No. Um, you know, for example, when we travelled from Port Augusta to um, Alice Springs by Uluru, the only internet we had was when we came into a town or a pub or something like that. And Just momentarily. Not, yeah. And there's not that much there. So if you're in the middle of nowhere and you need the internet to make contact with someone, it's pretty difficult. It is. And uh, we also run an online tutoring um, business. And we do. so Tim teaches, you know, high school, high school students. And when there's no internet, it's so hard for them to have a lesson because it keeps dropping out, yep. you know, call back and then, oh, it's awful. Um, you know, an hour lesson can end up being an hour and a half to two hours if you have to keep dropping out and, you know, calling back. So, so yeah. And internet's been, a big deal, isn't it? Yeah, we've, and we've been paying probably about $180 a month to get 500 gigabytes of data a month, which is what we need because I need that for my tutoring. Um, and really the quality of the internet has been a disaster. Yeah, it's been hard. Um, it, unless we're in a major town, we don't want to be in major towns. We want to actually explore our country. So we want to be out in the middle of nowhere because that's where mm. that's how happy place. Yeah. So when we were in uh, Kenilworth, a friend of ours uh, bought Starlink. Yeah. And um, which we'd heard of before. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess what it was. In our minds, we're like, oh, another thing. Is this one going to yeah. work? You know, and we... there's also the weight issue that yeah. we don't want to delve into again. But how heavy is it going to be? We, um, we had Selfie Go previously, and that was just awful. That awful. was just terrible. That was probably the, one of the worst things. I know some people rave and they love it, which is fine, but for us, it was just terrible. Well, I mean, unless you have a unless you have a mobile phone signal, it's it's just a brick. Yeah. So if you're in the middle of Australia and you don't have a cell, you don't have a mobile phone signal, it doesn't work. Yeah. Sure, maybe travelling around the city, if there's a black spot or something, maybe it might help. But really, it, we didn't get any use out of it at all. And that was probably close. Well, I think it was over a thousand dollars because we bought the five yeah, G one. Yeah, it was cheap. And then to get it fitted and yeah. yeah anyway. Was, anyway, but we've moved on from that. So we we're have. at Kenilworth. A friend of ours had Starlink, and he let me hop on. Um, and have a little go of it because with Starlink it's unlimited internet which is pretty good so yeah you gave me the password and I was pretty amazed I was getting like 200 megabits per second and I thought well, this is pretty good because we were just we were getting about I don't know 22 megabits per second it wasn't much through Telstra and our signal was constantly dropping in and he had constant internet even when it was raining so we sat down and thought you know what we should probably really consider getting this, cancelling the data that we have on Telstra and jump in. So we ordered it and it arrived yesterday and we're going to show you the unboxing. Yep, now, very excited. I know, so now to get into Starlink, uh, if you own a caravan, there is an account which is specifically for RV users and it's pretty good because you can actually turn the data on and off every month. So if you know you're going to be home, and you're not going to need that. You can just switch it off until you need it again. So you can switch yeah. it off for however long you want. Once you own the hardware, you can switch the data off. And when you're going to head out again, you turn it back on again and you've got your internet. So it costs... Whereas it's different in a house though. Yeah, that's right. So in so, a house, you're in a yeah. locked contract. Yeah. So with the RV account, it is a bit more. It's $175 a month. Um, but that's unlimited data. For us, I know it sounds expensive, doesn't it? To a lot yeah. of people but we're already paying more yeah. than that now with less internet and for right. us with the business we're doing and with the editing and everything that we're doing on youtube mm. we need the internet and for us it's an investment that's that works in our favor so yeah. and we need it for work i need it for work so yeah the worst thing is when you're tutoring someone and 
you can't share a screen and the phone keeps dropping out it's just you know it's hard yeah so, so for us it's the perfect yeah. hopefully the yeah. perfect resolution of the whole internet saga so 175 dollars a month and it costs us around a thousand dollars for the hardware so let's have a yeah. look i haven't even opened this up yet so no we're about to do that right now let's have a look all right, all right. So, so let's let you do that okay you want to go around the other side very but... cool box oh look around this one. okay so this is it here so we don't want to rip the box because i think we might have to keep it in there yeah yeah if we can we'll see how we go so this is like the exciting part I and know. tim's come prepared yeah. he's already pre-cut it aren't you clever i did didn't bring a knife out but i haven't gone past that so this is what's in the box that's a piece of cardboard babe <laughs> that's All right. very exciting <laughs> so this is the top all right so this is this could be really good when we want to repack it all so we don't want to throw that out. yeah that's true so we'll just hang on to everything for now all right so i i do know a little bit about this because my friend did have it so i saw how it all sort of fitted together so what we have here is that that's the stand all right how much does it weigh everything um it weighs it's a good question i think it weighed about uh five and a half kilos so okay. that's not too bad so for us i'm going counting kilograms i'll get do. back to you and let you know about that but I'm, i think it's between five and seven yeah okay. yeah so i'll let you know so there you go you get the sand it's quite light all right so chuck that down there now this here is your okay this here is the satellite dish so it's not small <laughs> but I guess if you're going to it's smaller than a lot of satellites yeah. so this this picks up you know this is a satellite dish so it's pretty good and it's not heavy it's you know i'm holding that with one hand no problem so now you get with the the dish it's not wireless okay so you do need a wire in fact they give you about 20 meters of wire um which is quite a bit um so anyway that just i'll show you where that plugs in this plugs into the stand, just like that. There you go, so that's locked in. And then you also get your modem. That's your modem, there, okay. And now, in case you're wondering, unfortunately, it's 240, okay. So that means that if you don't have an inverter in your van, you're gonna have a bit of a tr struggle but I do have a solution. And I've spoken about this before. You can get this little box here. Now it doesn't look like much, but this is a little beauty, okay? You can get this from Anaconda. And I think we paid about 350 bucks, didn't we? Yeah. And this is an absolute ripper. And look, it's got two power points in there. So it's got two 240 outlets. You just charge it via USB-C and there's also like a DC in as well. Um, and what you can also do is that you can plug this into a cigarette lighter in a car and you can charge it at the same time as you're powering something. So you could legitimately be, be running this off your battery in your van, turning it on, getting your 240 out and running your um, Starlink. So I'm not going to use that today. I'm going to use our inverter, but I use this to charge my MacBook Pro one of the new ones and that's got a really thirsty um, charger and this powers it no problem so this can push out 60 watts which is pretty good and it lasts probably about four hours of charging my macbook from zero all the way to full it can charge it the whole way so and this is totally separate yeah, totally to separate, yeah this is a totally separate yeah, thing this I'm does just, not come with starling no just i'm just saying that, that clear if, if you don't have an inverter yeah. this could be something that you can yeah. look at so and if you are, really wanted Starlink, yeah. you could get it, but you'd and, need something like this. And this isn't heavy at all. Like, this is probably around about two kilos, so it's not heavy. So, you got your 240. What we're going to do, I'm going to plug it in, and I'll show you how it works, and we'll come back to you. We've turned the inverter on, and what we've done is we've plugged the modem, which is this thing here, into the power point in our outdoor entertainment hatch. Okay, so this is the hatch where we put the, the TV, um, but also the hatch where we keep the cruise master controller. So I haven't turned it on yet. It fits perfectly in yeah. there for us. Yeah. 
and then I put the cable all the way down and there's our little receiver over there. So I haven't actually switched it on yet, okay? All right, so let's go switch it on and we'll put the app on because there's an app that connects to it. So we need to hook the app up and get it all sorted. So I'll show you how it all works. Alright, so we switch it on with the power. Okay, now, I think from memory, it does take a little while for it to actually start to work, but we've got to get the app working. So, on your phone, you get the Starlink app, which is that one there. And I've already got my account all set up. Alright, so what it says, it says connect to Starlink Wi-Fi. Tap to open your Wi-Fi settings. Hmm, okay. So, let's have a look. This is like in real time setup, yeah. isn't it? I've never done this before. So, so. I thought we may as well do it. So, there we go, Starlink. Okay. So, enter Wi Fi network name. So, let me do that. We'll leave you there. I'll come back to you. All right. So, a half hour later, after we've booted up Starlink, um, it's now online. So, it took us a little while for it to get online. I reckon it took us about a good a good 40 minutes i was having a bit of a moment because i thought it wasn't working and i thought that i don't know it just wasn't going to connect or whatever um the app just said it was disconnected so it wasn't giving me any other um message other than that but i'd say probably what i had to do it had to go through a sequence of boots and it was the initial setup sequence so whatever it did uh, it took about 40 minutes as I said and now it's working and we are online so the app says it's online I've just done a speed test and the speed test says that we are getting 225 megabytes per second which is crazy crazy so that's pretty much NBN speeds um, also the receiver has moved so it moved all by itself so I don't know if you remember before it was facing the other way and now it's facing straight up the sky. So it must be talking to one of the satellites up there. So it's looking pretty good. Um, if we can get these speeds all the way around the country, that's going to be an absolute game changer for me, uh, especially for my work and for my tutoring. So, uh, and also just for the family, being able to have internet wherever we go, um, it's going to be terrific and not have to rely on Telstra's pathetic coverage outside of the main cities. It's going to be great. There is one little issue that I really would like some help with. So if anyone's got any ideas, you can let me know in the comments. But over here, as I said, we have the modem in the entertainment hatch. All right, so there it is there. So right now, that's fine. It's working, no problem. As I said, it does need a 240 supply. But the only problem is, as long as the modem is there, this cord is going to stop me from closing that door which is not brilliant. Um, I'm not all that happy about that. Um, I don't have any other 240 supplies uh, on the van outside. There's plenty inside, but there's no other 240 volt socket outside. So that's the only one that we have. Now I don't want to put the receiver on the roof because then I'd have to have the power supply going through one of the hatches and that's just going to look ugly so that's off the cards totally not going to do that so if you have any ideas drop us a comment and let us know um as i said the van's going to go in for some warranty work at the end of the month that's pretty much why we're still here on the sunny coast um so i can probably get them to fix something up for us hopefully but we'll let you know um so any ideas drop the drop us a line so we're going to be back uh, for another episode in a few days. Um, we've been busy editing all the stuff for season two. It's coming along really well. Hopefully we'll get that launched up in the next few weeks. Um, but stay tuned for the next episode in the next few days. Looking forward to catching up with you then. Justine isn't here at the moment. She had to go and collect her mum because we were messing around with Starling for way too long. So as I do. All right. So we'll catch you later. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love your work.